Well, I feel like I'm um, the lowest, lowest class of um, poor person in Australia. Um, even the minimum wage that people work, like jobs like cleaning toilets and that, they get 600 and I think that um, it's nearly $700 is the basic wage for a cleaner and we get like $200 a week to live on. And being on the pension, you have to scrimp, you have to go without things that everyone else has. Um, in my case, I've got medical problems, so um, unfortunately I, I don't have a chance to be like a normal person and have a family and kids and a job and a house and all that. And um, um, you, ha you have to really scrimp and make every cent count. And uh, if you don't, you just go without. And um, you know, so you have to be careful what you do with your money because you don't get a lot. And it's difficult. And sometimes people go at, go without meat, food. Um, they have problems with their housing and so forth. It's very difficult. But you've just got to accept it and make the best of it. And unfortunately, that's the way it is. And it is hard, you know. It's hard to manage. The prices are all very high. And, um, services to your accommodations are high, like electricity and everything, and it's very difficult. And I've come across a lot of people who constantly say to me they're having a hard time, they can't cope with the, this and that, and, and they're all on the pension and that, and it's really disappointing and depressing to see people like in that sort of state. And they're, they're like people that have had jobs and stuff or gone to war or whatever, and, and serve their country and they live like we live like under at the bottom line of the bottom part of everything you know? and so you've got to really budget and make every bit count most people live from fortnight to fortnight and um, it impacts your life totally because um, you just can't afford to go to the movies you just can't go for, to Myers and buy new jeans and new shoes and all that you have to access um, uh, second-hand shops like Salvation Army, St Vinnie's, uh, and you have, at times you have to utilise these services and sometimes you, you can fall down into a big heap um, just because you're in that situation and it impacts people's lives greatly because, I mean, if the electricity gets cut off or whatever, whatever the case is, because you can't, but what do you do then? Well, just walk around in the dark, I mean, not, you know, and like, it's a real struggle and they just like, um, it's good that they provide social security, but I'm not too sure what the answer is, you know, but it, it does impact people's lives and a lot of people are concerned right now in 2013, going to 14, how high the prices are, and like our pensions haven't changed, but everything else has gone up, so... It really impacts your life greatly, and like I said before, you have to make every cent count. You know, and some people borrow on top, and then they face debt and things like that. And it's a real struggle. Yeah, I sometimes fall into depression, and then, but I've trained myself to um, keep motivated because I know what depression's like. And once you feed depression, it's so it's such a volatile feeling that you experience and you can really, really run yourself down that far that you end up contemplating suicide, running away, isolation, all different things, you know? And um, it's just horrible that, that you know, people go through that sort of thing. Like myself, I had my growing up, I was abused for 18 years, the start of my life, and now I'm on a pension and, and like, you know, I'm on medication, I've got to have injections and pills, I suffer side effects, what sort of life do I have? Sometimes it really, really brings me down, but I'm a motivated person and I'll fight from the start and I'll fight and keep fighting until I have got no more fight in me and that's how it is.